guys, for Sunday night's dinner, we are doing an egg bake. So y'all probably seen this lots of times, but so I sprayed the bottom of the pan with cooking spray, sprinkled some cheese down there, and then I chopped up and sauteed a mixture of red potatoes, onion, garlic, a zucchini. I had a small zucchini that we needed to use up. Um, a little red serrano pepper, and then the red Anaheim pepper. We still have some of those left to, in our fridge from our CSA. So I sauteed all that together. Oh, I, I've never added meat to this dish. It's usually a meatless dish. So sorry to disappoint y'all, but the Canadian bacon we bought from Costco needs to be used up. I don't want it to go to waste. So I went ahead and added a little bit of that in there. At the end of sauteing all that, I did throw in some spinach and some tomatoes. So I'm laying, layering this mixture on top of the cheese. And then over here I have uh, eight eggs whisked together with some milk, some salt pepper, and some dried basil. I usually use fresh basil, but we don't have any more. So I'm going to pour that over here and then top it with some more cheese and bake it at 350 for about 40 minutes until it's done. And it is very yummy and flavorful. We love this dinner. Okay, so we barely had any shredded cheese left, so I had to improvise and use some of our sandwich cheese that we get from the deli. That's what you do when you're trying to save money. You work with what you got on hand. Right, Jordy? For dinner on Monday, we are having lasagna. I don't think I've ever showed y'all how I make lasagna. This is a, something my mom's been making, a recipe my mom's been making ever since I was younger. So it's just called lazy lasagna. It's pretty easy. So the first thing I did was I browned um, a pound of ground turkey. You can also use ground beef, whatever you want. Um, and then I added some spaghetti sauce. Calls for 32 ounces. Sometimes I'll make homemade spaghetti sauce, um, but I went ahead and just bought this kind this time, just to save me some time. And then over here I have a mixture of one pound of cottage cheese and one cup of sour cream. Uh, I usually use Greek yogurt instead of sour cream. And right here I have about a half a cup of shredded Parmesan cheese. And then right here I have some fresh mozzarella. I've always used the uh, blocks of mozzarella. So this is going to be the first time using fresh mozzarella. So I hope it comes out good. But the recipe calls for um, three packages, six ounces each of sliced mozzarella cheese. So that's about 18 ounces. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to layer one and a half cups of the meat mixture here in the bottom of the pan. And then on top of the meat mixture, we are going to place some of the lasagna noodles. Recipe calls what says to do four, but I do five to get it all up in there. I'll have to break this one. And on top of the noodles, I added half of the cottage cheese mixture. And then on top of that, I'm going to put some of the mozzarella cheese. We're going to have like three layers of mozzarella cheese so I can only... I think I'm going to cut this thinner. I'm going to have to slice this up more thin. So I can spread it out. After the mozzarella, I added half of the remaining meat sauce. Okay, so then after I did half of the remaining meat sauce, then I added a fourth a cup of the shredded Parmesan cheese, and then another layer of noodles, and then I'm gonna add the rest of the cottage cheese mixture, then more of the mozzarella cheese, and then the rest of the spaghetti, whatever, meat mixture. All right, so then I topped it with the remaining Parmesan cheese, and now I'm gonna add the rest of the mozzarella cheese. And the last thing we gotta do is I have a cup of water here, and I'm just gonna pour it around the sides of the pan. Okay, I don't want it to overflow, so I'm gonna stop there. And then just cover the pan with foil and bake it at 350 for one hour. And then uh, for one hour, and then we're going to <laughs> remove the foil and put it back in the oven for another 20 minutes. So it takes almost an hour and a half to cook. All right, there it is. After almost an hour and a half, we are hungry. We're just eating it with the salad. And it's kind of overflowing. I think because I used more sauce than what the recipe called for, that's why I didn't need to quite add the whole cup of water that the recipe calls for. But that is Tuesday night's dinner. For dinner on Tuesday, we are having leftover lasagna. 
I didn't even show yesterday's completed dinner because the it was just not very pretty. The lasagna was so runny and um, ugly on the plate, but it still tasted good. So uh, yeah, I shouldn't have used such a big jar of sauce. Okay, so we're just having it with some steamed green beans. So I just steamed them and seasoned them with sea salt and some butter. And then I got a couple of uh, a little bit of yellow bell pepper that I steamed with them and the kids are having the lasagna. Um, and some of the frozen big bag of frozen veggies I have from Costco. So that is what is for dinner on Tuesday. For dinner tonight on Wednesday, I'm trying a new recipe called black bean burritos. I've got my rice already cooking over here, my Mexican rice, which I have a recipe video for. So I'll put that below. But right here, I've got uh, two tablespoons of olive oil heating up. And then I'm about to add to it some chopped onions, some chopped red bell pepper, some chopped uh, jalapeno or serrano peppers and a couple of uh, cloves of minced garlic. And I'm just gonna let that saute for a few minutes. Now I'm gonna add a can of black beans drained and rinsed along with some tomatoes and some corn. This is not what the recipe calls for. It's just my addition and I'm gonna let that cook for a few more minutes. Okay then I have three ounces of cream cheese here that I cut into cubes so we're gonna add that along with about a half a teaspoon of salt and I'm gonna add some cumin this is another thing I'm adding to it and we're gonna let that cook for a couple more minutes and then the last step is to throw in some chopped fresh cilantro stir that up and it's ready I'm gonna warm up our tortillas and put them to the into the tortillas along with some cheese and make them into a burrito and then we'll serve it with our rice and I'm gonna make some guacamole real quick and we'll have salsa and sour cream with it too. already took a bite they're pretty good I think I added a little bit too much cumin but I do think that the addition of cumin was a good idea and just uh, mashed up some avocado and quickly added some lime juice and salt and pepper and garlic salt do you like them um, so this is almost too good for me in this meal you like it they're different than I make black bean like burritos all the time but this is the first time like making them with cream cheese so uh, really good I'll put the recipe below Doubt that the kids will eat it, but mm. take a bite. Yeah. <laughs> All right, that's what's for dinner on Wednesday. I just have to show y'all that she did like it. Look at that. <laughs> She's tearing up the burrito. Ooh, got a little bit right. I'm gonna you. spill it all over you. She ate all her rice, two scoops of guacamole. So this is a baby-friendly meal. Wasn't too spicy. Jocelyn took two bites of the burrito and she didn't like it, but that's nothing new. Dinner on Thursday is leftover clean out the fridge night. So me and Jared are finishing up that roast that we made last week. We got a salad to go along with it. And uh, all right, there's Jared's. And we got some mango and pineapple. Jordy is eating some of the Mexican rice that we made last night. And those um, Madras lentils that I get from Costco. She really likes them. I also warmed up some of those steamed veggies, the frozen veggies from Costco. She doesn't like them, so I warmed them up and I chopped it up real fine and I stuck it in there and she hasn't noticed so far. So, <sighs> just trying to get her to get some veggies in. And then Jocelyn has the leftover mac and cheese and uh, some salad and some fruit. So, I like pineapple. Good girl. So there's Thursday's dinner. For dinner on Friday, we're just having breakfast. The eggs look nasty, but that's what Jared gets for letting me cook them. And our homemade biscuits, they're super easy and quick, so I'll put that recipe below. And then just some of our Canadian bacon that we cooked. And then just some cheese and spinach in the eggs, along with kiwi, apple, and orange. So that is Friday's dinner. Mm -hmm.